Well, hello everyone. Uh, this is Robert with you. I have a few uh, adjustments and corrections and rules updates to share with you regarding my Elder Sign game. The first one is an issue that was brought up to me by several viewers, both here on YouTube and at uh, Board Game Geek. It is about uh, resolving an adventure card. I finished this adventure card last turn and what you're supposed to do before you put down a new adventure card is process the uh, either the, the the results of the failure or the results or the rewards of the success and the very first one I, I verbally mentioned it in the last video is the placement of a monster but I failed to put down a monster I had every intention of coming back and do that and doing that, but because I also had one at midnight on the Mythos card, I guess in my mind it just I thought, well, I've placed my monster. But I actually need to place one more. I drew this one at random, and this is a witch. So I need to place this down here on the uh, the play area. One uh, rules, I guess you could call it update. Um, you see I have already three monsters out. And it's very tempting, I think, for some people to stack multiple monsters in one location and then just never go there. But that's uh, an exploit. Uh, that's, that's something that the intention of the game's designers was to distribute the monsters evenly. So I'm going to follow that and try to put the monster either here or here, one of these two locations. And once again, I'm sorry for the glare there. Uh, this is going to be 8 Investigation and 2 Peril. And down here looks like 6 Investigation, 1 Peril, and 1 Lure. This one might be a little easier, but... Um, the problem is you have to go in order. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put the witch down there and see if I can pull that off somehow. <laughs> All right, now that that's done, I can place uh, the new adventure card, which is this one. This is the one I drew after I completed this. Another. Uh, I guess I should say rule update. It actually addresses what I understand is a misprint in the rule book and it regards spells. In the rule book it tells you to play the spell and then roll your dice and then select the dice you're going to put on the spell. Uh, probably if you're like me you were thinking to yourself well that's that's probably not the best way to do it because I don't know that what I'm going to roll I'm going to want to save. What you should do is you should put the spell card down after you roll the dice. So then there are some dice, let's say, you know, most spells have one slot. This one has two. But let's say I roll the dice and there are dice I'm going to use and the other dice are for another task and I can't use it this turn, I would have to pick them up and re-roll them, I could use my spell, put it down, and save those dice on there. And then use those dice for the next task. Or if I rolled well and I didn't need it, I could save those for another adventure card at another time. I hope that makes sense. Uh, you'll probably see that in action soon. And one final point. Um, focusing when you fail and you put a die on your character's uh, token to focus so that you can try to succeed in the next roll and save one of those uh, die to use in completion of the next task. Uh, evidently it was the intention of the designers that you could only focus one time during an adventure card. So uh, if you you can't fail and focus and then fail and focus and fail and focus uh, multiple times while completing different tasks. You can only do it one time on the adventure card. 
that's how I'm understanding uh, the rules clarifications at this time. So now that we've got those straight, we're going to begin the new turn, and it will be midnight, so we'll have a new Mythos card coming. Thanks.